What's up guys, welcome back to the Fat Kid Inside. So I know sometimes people have a very hard time making big food. I don't mean big portions, I mean food when you have a lot of people coming over, you kinda don't know what to do, um, and you wanna do something really quick. So I'm gonna show you how I cheat. When I have a lot of friends coming over, I'm looking for just big bang flavor, chicken, something starchy with uh, a little bit of um, acidity so it wakens every part of your mouth up. So the first thing you're gonna do is um, slice up some onions like I did right here. I added about one third of a cup of lemon juice with some sugar and a little bit of salt so it's just like a quick, very fast pickle. Next, I have a pan already that's nice and hot over here on my stove. And to that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of chopped garlic. Before it gets too brown, what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of chicken thighs inside as well. So about maybe two handfuls should be enough. And I'm just gonna cook that until it's nice and brown and cooked through. While that's finishing up, what we're gonna do is put a little bit of trimmings on top. So I need some coriander stalks, which I have right here. Nice, vibrant, nice and green, perfect crunch. That texture is what I'm looking for. And then I have some nice baby leeks right here as well. And finally, the last thing we want is to slice up some queso en like I did right here. I'm just gonna pan fry it a little, get it nice and soft, put it all over our sandwich. A couple of glasses later, we're good to go. I'm gonna pour all the contents into my bowl here. Watch out, it's actually very hot. Probably realize I've not put any seasoning in here. So what I'm gonna do is put maybe half a teaspoon of char siu sauce. It's absolutely amazing, nice and sweet, nice and tangy. You can buy it. Toss everything until it's all perfectly combined. Let me try it. The flavor's almost there. I'm gonna add a little bit more of my char siu sauce on top of the chicken. And once it's well combined, just let it rest for a little bit. And then I'm gonna get my caisson pute onto the grill. So I'm gonna get the same pan right on top. What I'm looking to do here is just really soften it up and so then I can put it with my bread. So I'm gonna leave that on the stove for about three minutes. While that's going, I'm just gonna open up my bread nicely. So I've got some nice dinner rolls here. You can use different types if you want. So I'm gonna do this in two portions. Go right down to the middle. I can flip both out. Once my cheese is nice and melted, very simple. What I'm gonna do now is take my chicken, put it onto my bread. You can just go ahead and put it wherever and flatten them out onto your pieces of bread. Watch out, it's really hot. What you have to make sure is that everything, every bun, actually every section of bun will have something on it. Next, I'm gonna grab my cheese and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that onto the sliders like that. Now comes the topping, which is probably one of my favorite parts. I'm gonna take some of my onions Again, red onions that were put with a bunch of sugar and some salt, and then drained and rinsed with a little bit of water. So I'm gonna put that on top here. And then I'm gonna finish off with my leeks that were very thinly sliced over here. And we're basically done. Now all I have to do, take my covers, make sure I've got the right ones going here, place them right on top. Actually, wait, I actually forgot my coriander, so coriander again for special earthiness on top. Also, just a nice crunch to it that I like. And then finally, we're gonna finish with a little bit of our lemon. If you have a lime, you can use lime as well. Here I'm using lemon, it's a little sweeter, no problem. I'm gonna take just a little dash of it to put a little bit everywhere. And basically, you're left with this massive slider sandwich. So what do you do from here? Very simple, you take a nice, long, sharp knife, cut this through the middle, switch it around, cut everything on the side just like this. Your hands be nice and clean, because you're kind of holding everything. And then you're basically done with a perfect little portion of a slider, a little bit of Asian, a little bit of European, all delicious, you've got all those layers of flavor. Hmm. That is pure, pure joy. 
Take, take my time. Come here. It almost tastes like a bow. Sweetness, tartness, onions. Cuts right through with acidity. Absolutely glorious. Like Tessum Pute, just nice and melted. It's nice and creamy. Such a good dish. So easy to do. If you guys like that, please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash And I'll see you guys next week with very new content. Peace out. Almost there, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Watch out, it's really hot. I should have topped this through probably a bit more. It's very hot. So spread it out nicely. Fuck. Put me on.